guys in here. I got Monkey behind the camera. We're at Pete's Pier Marina in Crystal River, Florida. We're going to head out and try to find some reefs to go fishing. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're back in these one of these little channels. I think Monkey might have something here. <laughs> She's going, oh, is a fight. Right, bring him back to me. Oh, he's little. Yeah. Okay. Monkey's got the first fish, so I'm going to get this off of there for her. Be right back. Okay, sorry about the wind. So, Monkey's got the first fish. We're just using shrimp, so. Then we're going to move around a little bit and try to find some reef. But I just thought this channel looked pretty cool, so I thought we'd give it a shot. Yeah. Nice in here. All right, we'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so we took a little cruise. We haven't done any more fishing yet. We've only fished about 20 minutes the whole time we've been out. We've just been cruising around. Monkey got hungry. So we stopped this place called the Waterfront Social. Right here. And right there is the Tiki Bar. And our boat just docked on the other side over there, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're going to get something to eat. We're going to sit outside. So we're just waiting on a table to get ready. So I'm trying to talk close to the mic so I'm not yelling. But So anyway, then we'll get back on the water and maybe do some fishing or boating. I don't know yet. We'll see. Oh, oh. Monkey's got a fish on here. Oh. We haven't even been here five minutes. <laughs> I got catfish. Yeah, you did. I got catfish. They like the shrimp. I got fish. Bring them over. I got fish. <laughs> All right. He's squawking. <laughs> Some monkey's fish. Another catfish. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, he swallowed your hook. All right. Okay, so. I guess we're just going to boat around. I just lost my rod and reel, and I'll tell you about that here in a little bit. Story time. We're back in the truck. I wonder why. There's an old saying. No good deed goes unpunished. I'll tell you what I did. Cast it out, and she brought in that fish. So I'm like, cool. So I get the fish off for her. Uh, I knew she was going to need some bait. But you cast it out again, right? Yeah, I put it back and, in the water. And then her bait came off. So she, so I went to hand her some shrimp. And I, what I did was I laid my rod and reel on my lap. And I put my right hand over top of the reel. I'm going to be a second. And I reach down to get her shrimp. And no more did I do that. Boom. Rod and reel's gone. I mean... I seen her move, so I thought, she must have snagged it or something, and it wasn't her. So, so the pole goes in the water, and it's for like floating, right? And I'm thinking, good, maybe he got off. And then it started moving a little bit, and I was like, shit, he's still on there. Well, by that time, he's out of my reach, so I went to hit the trolling motor, and I hit reverse and backed away from it. Instead of her snagging it, she has her rod and reel in her hand she actually reaches down to get the net so I get just within distance of grabbing it and gone fast so whatever it was was big I don't know it was probably a big catfish or something but because at this time we were still in some fresh water so and we started coming coming back it started getting real cloudy and dark like it was going to storm and the um the tide just got real rough i mean it was just <laughs> we were all over the place so i like, get back in one of these coves or something we'll boat around so we get back towards where where i wanted to take her so she could put her 
her camera underwater and get some pictures but and then 50 million kayakers don't know which side to be on every one of them was on the wrong side they don't care them kayakers don't care they won't they won't give way they'll cut right in front of you and you know and then they look at you like you're stupid when you're going in a straight line it's like what the hell man i'm trying to get into the dock i, I told her i said you know it's time it's time it's time to hit in <laughs> just time to hit in man oh god so fishing the day's not over this video is not over yet by any means because i gotta catch up to her she's got uh she's got two two up on me two catfish so whatever that one was would would have been a good one so oh, i i would have been i'm sure it was a big one there's a dude over here playing guitar on a corner <laughs> check him out <laughs> So we're going to go into Walmart, I guess, and get a new fishing rod and reel. And uh, then we're going to the river. Looks like it's going to rain, but at least we won't be out in a boat, you know? We'll be. It was fun, though. I would go again, but I'd like to try it during the week. Less traffic, you know, right now it's summer and all the kids are out, so. Oh, I don't have a problem with that. The problem I have with is them kayakers not knowing that they have to obey laws just like you do if you're driving a car out there on that water. There's still laws, rules, and regulations. Well, they go rent them kayaks and just get out there and do what they want. They think, well, I'm just in a kayak. I don't need to obey the laws. And none of the boats either know which, which, what's right and what's left. They don't know port from starboard, port's your left side. That's what you're supposed to be on, you know? But they drive like they're driving a car. So, anyway, all right, we're here. I'll be back with you guys. Okay, I got one. At least Monkey's not gonna skunk me. <laughs> she might beat me, but she ain't gonna skunk me. <laughs> she had one, man. It was fighting her bad. It ended up breaking her 17 pound test. Nice cat. Yeah, he's pretty. my new rod and reel. <laughs> Got an Abu, Sar uh, Abu Garcia there. And I, I didn't want a new one. Oh, we can weigh him. He don't weigh a pound, but we we can see what he weighs ounce wise. <coughs> All right. 
least she didn't skunk me. I got it on ounces here. He's talking. Yeah. I can't get him hooked. pounds because that was alright got it on pounds here 1.41 pounds so that's what he weighed almost a pound and a half Cool. Uh -huh. All right. Let's put him back in. That's perfect eating size right there. Right. So there's my first one. I don't know if you can tell or not, but we are at the river now. So, all right. Time to get baited back up. and get some more fish hopefully okay guys so we're picking up we're getting out of here so three fish were caught today and that's pretty much it so anyway <laughs> stay tuned for more videos uh, i get the boat out pretty soon and do a uh, solo overnighter down here on the island it's back that way so uh we didn't catch anything here. Like I said, Monkey had one on there. It broke her line, so it was pretty big. I seen it doing the head. I thought she was snagged at first. And I seen her, her pole was bent, but it was like shaking like that. So I knew something was on there. And then uh, she was bringing it in, but I finally snapped her line. I was just getting the camera ready. <laughs> but and then I caught that one and a half, almost one and a half pound. And she caught two, so she still outfished me, but she didn't skunk me tonight. So, anyway, we're picking up. Truck's right up there, so we're going to head to the house. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear the Myth, the Man of Legend. Keep your hands on your broad and reels at all times. <laughs> I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye and take care.